Well, it may be curtains soon for a legendary Park Ridge movie theater. Generations of moviegoers have flocked to the iconic Pickwick for decades. But as WGN's Patrick Elwood reports, the theater may soon play out its final scene. In the heart of Park Ridge, it's been a mainstay since the late 1920s. The iconic Pickwick Theater opened in 1928 as a vaudeville house and at a time when silent movies were still a thing. But the times, they could be a change. On January 8th, we were going to close down the theater. Dino Vlahakis' father bought the iconic theater in 1967. In 1975, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Dino worked here growing up, doing just about every Everything, as is the case in a family-run business. Further adding to the lore of the Pickwick, the theater was featured in the long-running, groundbreaking movie review show by Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert. In 1981, Dino took over as a college graduate and today is co-owner with his brother-in-law, Dave. When I started 42 years ago, 50% of the movie theaters in the Chicagoland area were privately owned. Right now, or independently owned. Now it's less than 5%. COVID crushed attendance and it hasn't recovered, he says. The theater needs at least 2,000 customers a week. That's just to break even. It is averaging 500. Furthermore, these days, he says there are just fewer movies that start as first runs in the theater. They're not producing as many films as they used to. Uh, where we used to have at Christmas time 10 to 12 films, we're down to four movies. But. But if after hearing this news, the viewing public shows the Pickwick some love in bigger, better numbers and starts showing up again to this 900 seat theater, then Dino and Dave just might reconsider. If we see that Christmas comes and does well, and, and I'll be honest, we've had a lot of people that inquired about coming to the theater, about taking over. So if we see that things are going to be happening, we may stay open. Otherwise, come January 8th, the last movie to be shown will be, of course, none other than Gone with the Wind. I won't miss the business as much. I'm going to miss the people. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.